Tell them who you are for. This is Paul McKenna for PT Box and I'm here today with uh, the, the, the tag team in Charles Martin's corner Saturday night, Henry Tillman and Jamal Abdullah. How are you? How are you both okay? Good? Fine. Yeah? Obviously, uh, as you can tell by the reception he's there alone, it's, it's a huge fight, massive fight. Charles making his first defence of his IBF title. O2 Arena, AJ's backyard and uh, it's going to be a wonderful night. No, I, I believe so, because you, you heard what Charles said, this is his arena too. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. so shall you think, so shall it be. He thinks that way, so he's going to make it happen. Exactly, Charles obviously just mentioned that uh, no matter where he goes, he always seems to perform, back it up, and uh, obviously it's a massive fight. Is it, uh, taking in his first defence, it's a bit of a risk, but... Uh, you know, use no more than anybody else in your confidence in your man come Saturday night. Oh yes, oh yes. We have much confidence in him. I mean, we had confidence in him when the fight was presented to us. Mm. You know, so, yeah, I mean, we look at it as an opportunity for us also. Mm. I mean, AJ looks for it as an opportunity to get a title shot, but we look for it as an opportunity because it'll put us on a different pedestal. Yeah. Get more fans. 100%. More spotlight. Yeah. You know, what Charles Cable and uh, with me and Coach Jamal is capable of instilling him to do it. Mm. As you just said, obviously, if Charles comes out with the win on Saturday, there's going to be you know, hundreds of thousands, if not millions, watching around the world. So it really will put Charles on the map if he goes and gets that win. That's it. Obviously, as far as it goes with yourself and especially you, Henry, you know, you've been in over the years with some incredible fighters. How does Charles Martin compare? And uh, do you think he, he, he really is one, one in the present and for the future? I think he's, I think he's in the future. Fine. Mm. I really do. We are, you know, Charles is, he's a different heavyweight. Mm. You know, because if you want to see his speed, he'll show you that. He has power. Mm. He has good intelligence, which is the, the key thing to his fight game. Yeah. Is, you know, he's very easy. He's very coachable. Mm. Very coachable. So the things that you're going to see is, you're going to see a lot of changes in him. Mm. You know, because every fight that he fights is a different fight. And he, he trains differently for each fight. Mm. He never trains the same. Yeah. He never trains the same. So, as far as the future to the heavyweights, he's going to be one of the top ones that they got to deal with. Definitely. And he, Charles really has got all the ingredients to cause an upset. You know, the, the height, southpaw, he obviously can punch. You know, he's knocked out the majority of his opponents. So, really has got the, uh, the potential to be a massive upset for, for the fans over here in England. Yes. Yes, you know, cause I mean, the people, the fans in, in England, they they took us took us in well. Yeah. You know, and, and Charles answers that call. And the thing that they see in Charles is he's a he's a real person. He speaks for real. Yeah. There's nothing dressed up. You know, he does he does exactly what he say he want to do. He lives that life. Yeah. Do we think uh, judges are going to be needed for this fight? Both massive judges. Do, 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 do you think it will reach the final bell? Trying Charles and Charles says himself he's, he's not going to sign with the judges because he's going to be the judge, jury, and the verdict. Mm. And see, what people, what people sleep on with Charles is not only what he can do is what they can't find in another softball, mm. his size, his stature, his speed, his punching power to help you get ready mm. for a particular softball like him. That's the whole missing ingredient mm. in that recipe when they get ready for Charles. They can't find that ingredient mm. to match him, to help them compared to him. That's it. Obviously, just one final question before we go. Anthony Joshua, 15-0 now. Uh, his last fight winning the British title. It's a, it's a massive, massive step up for Joshua to be fighting for the world title. A lot of people believe it may be too soon. Do you think that plays a, a, a good advantage for Charles Martin, having a little bit more experience and being on the big stage you know, over in Madison Square Garden and so on? Yes, I, I think it takes a it's, a, it's a big step for Anthony. It's a very big step for Anthony. Mm. You know, but, but I look at it like this, you know, Anthony said something that makes a lot of sense. You know, when he said that no matter how you look at it, it's two heavyweights going at it. Mm. And it's not a thing if one got 20-something fights or the other one got 10 fights. Yeah. You know, it's still, in the heavyweight division, it's still that one punch. You know, so once that one punch is in, that's it. You know? But this thing is, see, we, we create happenings. We create openings, we create happenings. You know, one thing, like I said, Charles is a very intelligent guy. He's very simple to train, you know, and he doesn't mind taking chances, and this is what makes a champion. If you have a fighter that's not afraid to take chances, then you're going to have a champion. A lot of these fighters won't take a chance. They get out there with skills, but they're afraid to take a chance to be in there to change the exchange of punches. You know? 
Charles, but Charles is a little different than that. He don't mind. If he locks something in that he's going to do, believe me, he's going to do it. Yeah. Definitely uh, for the fans that aren't watching on Saturday night, they need to tune in. It's going to be in a... A really exciting fight. How, how's London? Oh, London is good? fine. London is fine. I, I mean, it's, it's a place that I would like to come back to. Mm. You know, it's, London is fine, though. That's it. Good stuff. Okay, mate. Well, uh, it was a pleasure speaking to you today. No problem. Best of luck Saturday night, and I'm sure we'll catch up with you very soon. Okay. Thank you. You got it.